Hey everyone, welcome to another installment of Harry Potter Theory. Today we'll be discussing what exactly makes a person a Gryffindor. As Harry Potter's house at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry, Gryffindor is likely the most well known of the four school houses, which also includes Slytherin, Ravenclaw, and Hufflepuff. Gryffindor is named after one of the four founding members of the school, Godric Gryffindor, and students who are sorted into this house typically have similar values, character traits, and abilities. First year students are immediately introduced to this particular concept upon their arrival at Hogwarts Castle, as the school sorting hat, the magical sentient hat responsible for sorting students into their appropriate houses, sings a song to explain it all. Although the song varies year by year, the four founders in their houses are always described in dedicated verses, outlining some of the most prevalent qualities associated with each house. In the case of Gryffindor, the Sorting Hat sings the following throughout Harry's time at Hogwarts. In his first year, it sings, You might belong in Gryffindor, where dwell the brave at heart. Their daring nerve and chivalry set Gryffindors apart. In his fourth year, the hat sings, By Gryffindor the bravest were, prized far beyond the rest. And in Harry's fifth year, said Gryffindor will teach all those with brave deeds to their name, while the bravest and the boldest went to daring Gryffindor. From each of these verses, the quality and characteristic most closely associated with the House of Gryffindor is clearly bravery. But as we well know from many of the different Gryffindor characters throughout the series, students in this house are much more complex than that, and it would be impossible to define them simply by their acts of bravery. What's more, many Gryffindors display their acts of bravery in less obvious ways than say Harry or Ron, who literally fight a troll, a three-headed dog, and a professor possessed by Lord Voldemort in their first year at school. For example, we see someone like Neville, who, at least as an 11-year-old, is rather shy and unconfident, stand up to the trio in the Philosopher's Stone, which would have taken him a lot of courage. So, while it's safe to say that bravery is the most defining quality of a Gryffindor, it's important to remember that this character trait can be demonstrated across a spectrum. Alongside bravery, there are also many other similar words that have been used to describe Gryffindors, including courageous, chivalrous, and daring. But in addition to these qualities, all of which are very close in meaning, Gryffindors can be defined by a few other characteristics, including passionate. Not always the most balanced of traits, Gryffindors are incredibly passionate people. They feel strongly about the causes they care about, such as Hermione and her creation of Spew, otherwise known as the Society for the Promotion of Elfish Welfare. Sometimes Gryffindor's passion can lead them to being a little hot-headed, something we see with Harry and Ron, who don't always think things through before jumping into a situation headfirst. Adventurous With bravery and courage at the core of most Gryffindors, it's not too surprising that they would also be up for a little adventure. All I'll say here is, mild horcrux hunt, anyone? Success-driven We see this trait in just about every Gryffindor we know, there's no apathy in this group. While it certainly takes on different forms, such as Ron wanting to become head boy versus Hermione taking on a course load so big she needs a time turner, the pursuit of success is definitely a common trait of Gryffindor students. Stubborn Alongside their bravery, many Gryffindors have a bit of a reputation for being rather stubborn. Sometimes this more unflattering characteristic even comes across as self-righteous. One only needs to remember the argument between the trio about whether or not Harry alone would drop out of Hogwarts and hunt Horcruxes to see just how stubborn and a little self-righteous Gryffindors can be. And with that, we've come to the end of today's video. What did you think? Did I miss any important Gryffindor traits? Please share your thoughts in the comments below, and as always, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it and subscribe to the channel. Until next time, remember, it does not do to dwell on dreams, and forget to live.